What's going on guys? I'm Alex from RoofTentInsider.com and in recent years we've seen a lot of rooftop tents cater to smaller vehicles which is awesome because now it's just much more inclusive. You don't really have to have an SUV or a truck to overland or have a rooftop tent. So the two biggest factors really to consider are both the weight and the footprint and each of these tents that I list are all going to fall right in that bucket and can fit pretty much any vehicle. Now the first tent I wanted to talk about is the Front Runner Featherlight. And this comes in at a price point of $1,099 and it weighs only 95 pounds, which is insanely impressive. The dimensions of the tent are 134 inches long, 53 inches wide, and 55 inches high. Now that is really spacious, so you can fit about two and a half people there, um, and a half a person essentially means a dog or a small child. But it is a really good size, and since it is a foldable rooftop tent, you get essentially double the space when you unfold it, and that's really nice to see. Now it does include a sliding a aluminum ladder, which is pretty standard, and the fabric is solid. Now Front Runner is a trusted brand, and they're actually really well known for their roof racks, so it did make sense for them to kind of extend into this line and I definitely think they're a trusted brand and really their play here, obviously it shows in the name, it feather light. It's all about having that extremely lightweight tent and it is one of the lightest in the market. So having it be foldable and super lightweight, it's perfect for any vehicle. Next up is the iCamper Mini. It comes in at 3,499 bucks, weighs 125 pounds, and the best part is it is a hard shell rooftop tent. Now, this is awesome for multiple reasons. The biggest ones being you're gonna have that reduced drag when you're driving down the freeway because it has better aerodynamics. Next is the setup process is super simple and this one pops up in just 60 seconds, which is pretty exceptional, honestly, and definitely not something to sleep on. Now, next is that it is just more durable than a soft shell rooftop tent because of that plastic ABS cover instead of a fabric one. So those are all things to consider and I think it justifies the price. Now, it accomplishes this small footprint by having a foldable component, which is extremely rare to see in a hard shell rooftop tent. In fact, it's actually one of the only in the market that does that. So they're super innovative over there at iCamper and talking a bit more about the features in the tent, it comes with a telescoping ladder, a two inch thick memory foam mattress and an insulated aluminum honeycomb flooring design which essentially just makes for a very durable build, which can hold a fair amount of weight. Now the fabric is breathable, which is very nice, so it can be used in all seasons, and it has quick install mounting brackets, which just make this installation process, and if you wanna take the tent off, so much easier, so all really, really good things. Now iCamper as a brand is one of the premium ones in the market, and if you can afford a tent from them, you're gonna have it for many, many years to come and I promise you, you will not regret it. I hope to get up to that level someday because iCamper is just awesome. Now, next up on the list is the Smittybelt Hard Shell Overlander, which is pretty new here. And for a hard shell, it's about the cheapest one you could possibly get, but that doesn't mean it is a cheap product. The price is $2,199 and this thing weighs only 94 pounds, not including the 10 pound ladder that you can store in or outside of the tent. So those are both great options and that lightweight is just really, really perfect because honestly, that's, like I said, one of the biggest considerations to keep in mind. Now, typically you're gonna find hard shells well over $3,000 and I'm really impressed with Smitty Bell. I own one, not this specific model, but as far as owning a hard shell, it's super impressive. It sleeps two and a half people, comes with a telescoping ladder, an LED lantern, has durable YKK zippers and much, much more. So as far as packing a punch, this tent is super impressive. I should mention the dimensions are 55 inches wide, 85 inches long, and 37 inches wide. So overall, it's a very impressive tent. Now for like something like a hatchback, I think this would be ideal uh, because it is a little bit longer than some of the foldable tents, but a good thing to keep in mind is just to measure the roof of your tent and keep in mind how long of a tent you can have. For sedans, you're pretty much gonna be stuck with either the iCamper Mini, because it's so dang compact, or a foldable rooftop tent. But for longer cars, a hard shell is definitely still a possibility. Next up is the Thule Tapui Explorer. The Thule Tapui Explorer A or two. Try to say that three times fast. It is 1,199 bucks. 
and weighs only 108 pounds. Now, Tapui is one of the most well-known brands in the rooftop tent industry. Now, they were bought out by Thule, a roof rack manufacturer, uh, I think back in 2018, and that was just a perfect synergy that they had going there. So it's awesome to see this tent come in at such a reasonable price. And honestly, I think this is the ideal entry-level rooftop tent for a couple that is looking to get into it. Now, it comes with a 260 gram polycon fabric, which is both UV and mold resistant. And it also comes with a two and a half inch thick high density foam mattress and an eight and a half foot telescoping ladder with a solid frame that is five eighth inches thick. Now, if you need a foldable rooftop tent that is both compact, light, and can handle all four seasons, and also I should mention at a budget, then the Air 2 is probably perfect for you. Thule has a great track record and that tent is something that's gonna last you a really, really long time. Next on our list is the Yakima Skyrise, which is priced at 1,099 bucks. The tent weighs just 95 pounds and they are a trusted brand as well. I actually own some roof racks from Yakima and that is what they are well known for. But you see a lot of this crossover here because it is a similar product, so it makes sense. Now, this tent is really cool because obviously it would be great for a small car with the dimensions of 84 inches long, 48 inches wide, and 42 inches in height. But it's similar to the front runner in the fact that it is so light and it can sleep two adults in the small one and the medium one can sleep, I think, two and a half to three people, although three might be a little tight. They come with a telescoping ladder, a two and a half inch thick mattress, and the fabric is made from an extra lightweight 210D nylon material, which is the same that you would typically see in backpacking tents. So keep that in mind. It's not going to be a tent that you're going to use in all four seasons, but it will be great for three season use and is a quality tent as well. Now, a feature that should not be overlooked is their mounting system, which uses a clamp feature and it just makes the setup process super simple, which is awesome because honestly, installing the rooftop tent can be a pain but if you leave it on year round, it might not be a consideration for you, but a lot of people like to take the tent on and off frequently. So having this fast mounting system is really, really nice. I just quickly wanted to run through some of those best rooftop tents for you guys so you can go check out some more of the specs, but I actually wrote an entire blog post dedicated to this, which I will link to in the description below. Uh, and I think it is just even more helpful. There's videos on there, graphs. It's extremely helpful, so go check that out. Now, if you guys did find this video helpful, please throw a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel out a bunch and also subscribe. I come out with weekly videos, whether it be rooftop tent tips or some camping related videos. It's all around that and it's really awesome. So I think you guys would enjoy it and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Now with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on that next video.